Have you ever seen a printer that could produce a full three-dimensional item? It's part of a quiet revolution underway with printer prices dropping and capabilities rising. CTV's Paul Brent now at the latest machines that have just arrived in Ottawa. And their parts... This little gadget full of moving parts was produced on a printer. So was this working wrench. The only real limit is size. Is that an item to this build plate? Corey Alacqua has been in the printing business for nearly 20 years. For these printers, it all starts with a computer design program. We did the work on the computer. We've sent the file to the, the printer. What happens next? The tough job's up next. In fact, all that's needed is to push the online button. Alacqua says a big effort has been made to keep the printer simple enough for any office setting. This unit costs about $60,000, a small one about 15000 The printer lays down hundreds of microscopic layers of plastic. Looking at what applications people may have for this technology is the wrong approach. We're telling people about the technology, and they're telling us about how they can apply it to what they do, how they can improve what they do. As prices drop, the market is opening up. The company behind these printers, based in the U.S., some 20 years in the business. Previous printers were much more expensive and complicated. So what you have is really hard, durable plastic models that allow not just form and fit, but actually some functional testing. After products come out of the printer, they can be encased in wax, which provided support. Now it's melted away. Or the plastic material may need to be cleaned, cut off of the support tray, and cured with ultraviolet rays. Price is the key point to growing sales. I believe it has to be in the seven to $10,000 range to get really broad adoption. They have been doing models in the past, but always had to rely on a service. Now they don't. I'm also seeing companies that have never done it before are going, ooh, Look what we have here. What can we do with this? Wow. Alacqua says he's first in Ottawa to offer these machines. Now he has to educate people on the possibilities. Paul Brent, CTV News.